And I thought this is, you know, so Joe, since you are an electrician and you like grounding, oh, uh, do you ground your radios when you're in the field for POTA, parks on the air, et cetera? Why or why not? No. If, uh, if you're operating on a battery. And no. I do not. Yeah, so. At KB9DED, I'm going to tell you right now, if you ground a portable radio, I'll slap you. <laughs> Hi, Mike. Um, I love yeah. you. <laughs> I've had this, I've had this uh, uh, argument with people before, and the answer is no, you don't need to ground it. Technically, so we do grounding for a couple of things. One, we, we do, do it for safety. Mm -hmm. uh, so if you have a 120-volt system, uh, anything that's uh, that's not double insulated needs to be grounded in case that there's a short circuit. And say, for example, the power supply, if there's a short that, and then 120 volts gets on the chassis, well, if there's no ground, there's no real way for the overcurrent protection device, a breaker, to trip because you won't have that exponential growth in current that trips the breaker. And if the yeah. voltage or potential just sit on the chassis until you go to touch it, and then boom, you get shot with 120 volts. So um, in portable operation, because we're not really ever using uh, 120 volts, we're just running off a battery, you don't need to ground for that. Second of all, we ground for lightning protection. Mm -hmm. And if you're out doing parks in the air and there's lightning, um, you're an idiot. Disconnect. Yeah, <laughs> Just disconnect. Go, go, home. <laughs> go home. Go someplace, find a pub and have a burger. Okay? Mm -hmm. But get off the air. And third, we do it for RF abatement, uh, generally for uh, reflected RF. And most of the time, we're running residents, antennas, or tuners, or mm -hmm. running at power levels where we're probably not going to get bit with RF. No, no. So really, you don't need to bond <laughs> the ground while running POTA. You need Correct. to bond. You need to bond heavily. And I say the word key here is bond heavily. Like when you're running mobile, mm -hmm. uh, you need grounding and bonding when you're setting up a station at home. But I do not see the need to drive a ground a ten foot ground rod into the ground while you're at a national park, just so you can do a couple hour operation. Hold the SOB back up out of the ground, which if you've ever tried doing that, that's a treat. And then do it all again the next time you go out. You don't, yeah. It's ridiculous. Yeah. Um, in fact, I, I really don't think you need to bond everything together. I mean, literally, you have a radio. You have a battery, which has mm -hmm. no ground itself. It's a positive and a negative. Okay? So you don't really bond the battery to anything. Yeah, you don't you don't need to ground it. No, no, you don't. So, so yeah, so portable for portable work, you know, grounding's not necessary for for the reasons. Yeah, um, you know, lightning protection. We're gonna we're gonna disconnect if there's a storm. Uh, if there's you know, survival use. of the fittest, you know, hey, go out and try, <laughs> see how it works. There's a different yep. term I like to use, but I can't use that out of them. <laughs> no. um, RF, um, you know, we usually use um, resonant antennas. So it's, yeah, so it's not really something we really have to concern about. Even on an end-fed half wave that's like got a sky-high 5,000 ohm feed point with a 49 to 1, you're not getting that much reflected power back. We have to nope. back. Not enough to get you a good bath. Correct. We'll have to run on like a thousand watts. Well, about <laughs> All right. Thank you so much for the questions. If you keep sending them, we'll keep answering them. Feel free to leave your questions and comments down in the comment area below. I'll filter through them, and who knows, yours may end up on our next Your Questions Answered live stream. Our Q&A live streams happen on the first Thursday of the month, starting at 7 o'clock p.m. Central Time. I hope to see you there. For more articles and information, along with a full line of VHF and UHF antennas for sale, please check out my website at www.jpol-antenna.com. Your support of this channel drives the production of future videos. Check us out on Patreon. Patrons gain access to exclusive content, and our patrons help keep the mission alive. That's over on patreon.com slash kb9vbr antennas. Well, give us that thumbs up if you like this video, and don't forget to hit that subscribe button if it's your first time here. That's your best way to be notified when a new video is released. I'm Michael, KB9VBR. Have a great day, and 73.